Hello, hello, my beautiful sisters and my handsome brothers. It is your girl, Dr. Shauna Etienne. I want to talk to you guys about what we can do and need to start doing to protect our children. I want to give you guys some information on a case. Well, two, two different cases. One, the girl name is Kashala Francis, age 13. She ended up dying after she went into a coma as a result of being jumped in school. And now this child is deceased. And there's another child, Renaya Wright, who was 10 years old. She died March 27th of this year after engaging in a fight. So I want to talk about this because these are some things that have been happening in our community. It continues to happen in our community. And it's not me saying it doesn't happen in other communities. But as many of you guys know, I can care less about I couldn't care less about any other community. I am speaking about our community and why this is an issue and why we need to get it together. Let me say this. Renaya Wright, 10 years old, in fifth grade, she gets into a fight in school. <laughs> 10 minutes after engaging in a fight, she complains of a headache. She loses consciousness at the school. The school calls 911. She's tra transferred to the medical center and she dies. Upon further investigation, they realized that she had a rare disorder is a birth defect, allegedly. Birth defect allegedly caused her death. And it's called AVM. It's a long word. It's about the arteries, the arteries, venous, mouth formation, where there's a tangled mess of blood vessels and veins, right? And one of the veins, one of the blood vessels ruptured. And that's how her death came about. So now you have all these medical examiners, examiners are saying, and, and all these other experts are saying, they don't think that it had anything to do with the fight. Now, apparently she was jumped by two girls as well, allegedly, when she was walking home in South Carolina. This one is in South Carolina, Kashala's in Houston, Texas. South Carolina, she walking home, she gets jumped. They say they don't have nothing to do. Not, I mean, I'm walking home, sorry, but she's in a classroom, allegedly, and she gets in a fight. They say it has nothing to do with her blood vessels. Now, here's what I don't understand. The girl has a history of complaining about a bully in the school. But now that she's deceased, the school denies any indication and any records saying this girl was bullied. And mom is disputing with the school. But there's no records. See, I tell people all the time. You have got to have a paper trail on everything that you do. If someone is bullying your child at school, you need to file a police report. report you need to write emails. You need to request a bullying investigation. This needs to be taken seriously. Because if something happens to your child and you didn't take the proper steps to document your child's complaints, everyone is going to deny it when the crap hits the fan. Everybody's going to deny it. And that's what happened to Renaya. See, the story is different. Some of the young girls who witnessed the fight are saying that Renaya hit her head. In the middle of the fight, she hit her head against a bookshelf. The teachers say no such thing happened. 
the teacher is chucking it up to a little slapping match, a little slapping match that was broken up immediately. So the police department is running with that story. The police department saying this little kid saying it's a little slapping match. I wouldn't really call it a fight. But the kids are saying, Renaya hit her head on the bookshelf. And now all the experts are saying, well, I don't think what happened with the vessel, you know, came from a fight. And this kind of birth defect is rare. You wouldn't even know it exists until someone scans the child's brain. And if there's no reason for her to get her brain scanned, then we wouldn't find the vessel. But at the same time, according to Renaya's mother, she has been complaining about her daughter having headaches since February of 2017. And even recently, 13 days prior to the incident, her daughter was complaining about headaches and no one found anything wrong with her daughter. You see, you've got to understand the history of African-Americans in the medical industry. And when you understand the history of African-Americans in the medical industry, then you will understand how a lot of things that happens to us is overlooked. So medically speaking, they ruled her death medical for medical reasons and closed the case. Close the case. Renaya dies on March 27th due to a fight. Kashala Francis dies a couple of days ago due to a fight. They die roughly a month apart. I don't know about you, but for me, something's not right here on many different angles. I don't like the way the narrative is being spent. I don't like the way the medical examiners and the medical quote unquote experts are handling situations. I don't like the fact how the schools are wiping their hands clean of it. We ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't like the fact that these bullies can just fight people and jump people. What is wrong with these people? We gotta be active. We gotta be involved. And the last thing I'm going to say, and I'm out, the last thing I'm going to say is when your child complains of a headache, you have to advocate for your children. You have to request a CAT scan or MRI, uh, MRI. You have to make those things known because when they look at our black children, they don't see our black children as in pain. They don't look at us as that way. You got to advocate for your health. You got to understand the history of medical um, treatment toward our people in this country. Don't think this stuff has gone away. It hasn't gone away. Especially if some of you guys may have insurances that they don't like. Like Medicaid. Like the Affordable Health Care Act plans. If you have that kind of insurance, they're going to try to get you out of there. You got to request your medical treatment. Your child is complaining of a headache. You take them to the doctor. You are not your child's doctor. You go in there and you request a scan. And until we start policing, effectively policing our own communities, until we step back up and get back to the village mindset, until we start caring about each other's children as our own until we start being active in our children's lives until we start knowing who our children's friends are until we start knowing who all the children are in the community until we start going to the parks and just sitting down and watch how these kids play and watch how they talk until we start doing things to become involved in the community until we start doing this you better document everything that happens to your child